Hi everyone. Okay, I'm aware. My hair looks so like absolute hair shirt. No makeup. In my hoodie. Leggings. So, to, in today's video, I'll be talking about my solo travel experience in Brazil. Nearly everyone who knows me knew that I went to Brazil for two weeks on my own. Before I went, people were like, Brazil's not safe, it's got high crime rates. Say that, oh, you're gonna get kidnapped and all that. There's about load of Luke, ludicrous trying to scare me, but sadly that didn't work. No, you can't put me off, nobody can. I just have no fear when it comes to that. So, I'll talk about my experience one, um, Brazil, I felt real safe. Like walking around, didn't had any problems. Nobody tried to kidnap me, and nobody um tried to like rob me or anything. I felt safe. And one thing I've noticed about the Brazilians that they stare a lot. I don't know why. I don't know. It's just a culture thing. I'm not too sure, or maybe because I'm like a Taurus and I don't really look like a Brazilian. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably just armless. Did I feel scared while I was away? Not really. Not once in two weeks that I felt scared. No way. Didn't feel anything at all. Like, you hear like bad things and like on media, but when you're there in Perth, when you're actually there, you don't really think about it. I've always been like that, and so far in my life, I've been lucky. So, did I feel lonely at any point? Maybe about one about a few times, but I've got over it really quick. Like, for example, when I just couldn't be bothered going out and get food, I just wished someone was there to get it for me and all that. But, so, yeah, I got over that. Would I do something like that again? Of course I would. That is a no brainer. I will always support solo travel. It's like the, one of the most empowering things ever. Like you just could do what you want whenever you want. You didn't have to take anyone's opinions, and I don't have to waste my I don't have to waste my time on money on something I don't even want to do. And I can wake up whenever I want and all that. I just love it. I would do it again. I'd have like me time. I don't have to hear people talking to me. I love that. So when I, at the beginning of Brazil, I thought, shit, this is so expensive. But as the trip went on, I discovered that it's not the most cheapest country, but at the same time, it's not the most expensive. Like, I mean, to more expensive places in Rio, like New York. Um, Iceland are pretty expensive and I've uh, seen some uh, online that it's more expensive to live in Leeds than Rio. I'm not kidding about that one. Um, the most cheap, the cheap, what's the most cheap in Brazil? I would say the transport because bus one way like 300, not 300, <laughs> right, I can't speak. It's like um, three, three, eight, 380 reels, which is 89p. That is so cheap. I'm not, that is just, just so amazing. 
in Leeds, I pay a maximum of three pounds for one way. Yep, and the minimum paid one way without about two stops, one ten. So I'm happy with that. Um, Metro's I think it's for thirty for seventy reels, which is just just tight just over a pound one way. Um taxis that at five sixty reels which is one pound ten in in like in sterling which I'm happy with that as well because um, in England it starts at 280 so so that's cheap um subway uh, subway's there cost me about seven pounds which is like a foot long and a drink and I'm sure in, in England I haven't paid seven pound for a subway so that's expensive I've got like there's few, I've been to Domino's a few times, got the real small pizza because I can't eat big ones because it's just so filling. Yeah, it paid 15 90 reels, which is like £3 summit, which is pretty cheap. I'm happy with that. Um, Christ Redeemer paid 40 reels, which is about maybe about £10 or bit less so that's all right sugarloaf mountain pay like um 80 reels which is i think it's about 20 pounds or a bit under maybe 18 pounds which is not the most don't know is it maybe not the most cheapest not the most expensive i'm not sure what your class is cheap expensive um, one thing about Brazil is that not a, not a lot not a lot of Brazilians can speak English, so it's not really easy to have a conversation with them in English. So use Google translators in shops, and that comes in handy. I think the bu the buses in Rio are not very clear because don't really have like timetables. Like you didn't know which side of the road you need to be, it got confusing. But I would say metros are very straightforward, which I'm surprised about. So I'm happy with that. In I've noticed in my hostel, the bathroom, there's a sign that says, um, "Don't put paper down the toilet," which I think is absolutely disgusting. And I, I know I didn't put paper down the bin. It went straight in the toilet. I think it's because the pipes in Latin America are small. So the paper will like block it up. That's what I believe. That's what I think. Like in England, the pipes are like, like really wide. So you can really push paper down the toilet. <laughs> For fellas, are a different side to Rio. He's like the poorest. <laughs> it has like over a million living there. You live in like over a thousand, over a thousand of them. Probably live on like a very low wage. I think about maybe 100 to 200 pound a month, I, I believe, which is a lot, not a lot of money. And for fellas who have a bad reputation for like crimes and that. So I've been up there and it's just like literally litter everywhere. It smelt like shit. There's like loads of cats and dogs scattering about. So thank you for watching my video. Uh, I'll so I need to get the Brazil, Brazil vlog up which I'm trying to find a good editing vlog for it 
for ages now because I was planning to vlog daily but I keep forgetting so I thought I might as well put it all in one and add all the sound effects on and all that so stay tuned.